Hi everyone, I'm Rajiv and today we're going to talk about climate change. Now this topic of climate change has been hot ever since the December floods that massively hit the Klang Valley as well as other parts of the country. But most of us in the Klang Valley have never seen devastating floods such as this and we blame climate change and we are right to do so. Clim the climate is changing but what do we do about it? And so the world classifies all of our actions into two big pots, you know, mitigation and adaptation. Mitigation is good. It's the reduction of our carbon emissions. Now, we really need to drastically reduce the carbon that we emit into the air, into the atmosphere, and um, the whole world needs to be a part of this. And Malaysia is actually a small emitter. Uh, we only emit about 0.6 or 0.7% of the world's carbon. But we face the effects of climate change. So now, you know, we, we can do mitigation, we can do adaptation, we should do both. But when it comes to spending our limited public funds, let's tackle adaptation. You know, one of the effects of climate change is the patterns of rains are changing. Rains are coming down at different times of the year. They're coming down faster, uh, more concentrated, and that causes floods. We need to deal with our urban drainage systems to deal with the floods that are going to happen in the years to come. We need to deal with agriculture. How is the planting of rice going to be affected by these weather changes? We need to deal with fisheries. So there's a lot that we need to adapt our society as the climate changes, and we need to focus on adaptation projects to prepare us for the future. We should not have a repeat of what happened in the December floods, when the system was not ready because we did not invest enough in preparing for the event these eventualities. Look at MRT stations in Singapore for an example. You always have to take a few steps up from the road level. They're prepared for the water to rise in situations of floods. That's an example of how we can adapt uh, and how we should be prepared for these flash floods that could happen would and will happen in the years to come. How are we going to deal with our coastal towns who are probably going to be submerged if nothing is done on a global scale. While we be good global citizens to reduce our carbon footprint, we also need to be prepared locally. Our communities need to be prepared for adaptation and we need to start with an adaptation master plan. But most importantly, we need to be able to roll out money. We must pump in serious millions of ringgit every year into projects to prepare our communities for all the climate change that's happening. And the money that we're going to spend on climate change, I would advocate that spend it all on adaptation. Spend it on adaptation to make sure our communities are ready to face the effects of climate change. Spend it to make sure that our cities are ready. Spend it to ensure that the coastal towns are prepared. And spend it to relocate uh, villages that are not able to cope with the rising sea levels on the way. Spend it to ensure that our fishermen are ready, spend it to ensure that our rice, paddy fields and other, other agriculture is ready for the effects of climate change. So while we do mitigation at, uh, at, at things that we can afford to do so, we need to ensure that our communities are ready and we need to adapt and we need to spend money and, and start this action right now. If it comes to a question of spending ringgit, if we need to spend 300 million ringgit on a mitigation project, or versus 300 million ringgit on an adaptation project, I say spend the 300 million ringgit on an adaptation project to prepare our communities for these effects that are coming.